Hey everybody, it's that time. It is the 27th of December, which means my book has officially been released on Amazon. And judging from a couple text messages that I've gotten this morning, it is in stores also. Um, I got an email, I'm sorry, a text message telling me that they um, went to a store looking for it and was told that the last copy was sold last night, which is actually pretty cool. So that made my morning. Um, and thank you to whoever that person was at that Books A Million that brought it. Um, you guys' excitement for this book has really sent me over the top for it. I mean, I've been excited for it from day one um, just because I've really enjoyed these characters and working with these characters and but just the feedback that I've been getting and the um, urgency on Twitter and Facebook and when is it coming out and all of that has just really made me feel good. Um, not just as a person, but just as, a, as an author. Like, I really felt good about that. So, here it is. <laughs> the cover that I have been hiding for so long because I was so unhappy with it. Um, still not quite happy with it, but uh, I guess it serves its purpose. Um, uh, a lot of people have asked, well, what don't you like about it? Why don't you like it? Um, I guess because it is a romantic suspense book, it, the, the cover portrays more of the, I guess, the animosity between the two men in the book. And you really don't even realize that there is a female twist in the book at all it just looks sort of like a urban street novel I guess um, and I have nothing against urban street novels like I've said before I just don't write them um, but I um, and actually somebody told me this guy looks like Makai Pfeiffer <laughs> so um, I don't know if that's good or bad <laughs> but this is the book um, so please, I can't stress enough, and I know I've heard authors say it before, um, I will say it again, and you'll probably hear it from many, 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 many other authors before me, after me, um, the first one, two week sales for books are very crucial for us, especially in the type of market that we're in right now with bookstores closing left and right, um, contracts up in the air. You know, if you have a favorite author and you want to continue to have that favorite author, support them. That's really the only thing that's going to keep us around is, is you supporting us. Um, because I, I really enjoy what I do. It's not about necessarily making a, a dollar. Um, I just enjoy what I do and they always say that people ask you you know what would you want to do for free you know what well, is it the one thing that you could do if you would do it for free and for me it would be writing because I enjoy what I do and I would do it for free so the first couple of weeks are very crucial for us when it comes to book releases so please um, go out if you know of any Anybody who's looking for a good romantic suspense novel or looking for a good read, tell them about it. Buy them a copy. A late Christmas gift, um, early Valentine's Day gift, <laughs> anything, anything at all will help um, these first couple of weeks for me. And I'd really appreciate it. You know, the last couple of weeks leading up to. The, you know the release with it being for pre-order on Amazon my numbers were extremely high on Amazon for pre-order and a lot of people don't understand how numbers work on Amazon but they go according of course to sales of books and they fluctuate from hour to hour according to which books are brought and things of that nature and 
it seems like overnight um, my numbers went from being in the high seven digits to the low five digits and I just want to thank you guys for that that made me feel really 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 good and it encouraged me and inspired me to really want to continue to do my best and grow as an author um, and continue to give you my best work because you deserve it um, which I think is why I had such disdain for the cover because I felt like um, you guys deserved a little bit better than what is there but you know it's not about the cover it's about what's in between the covers so I'm looking forward to you guys getting your hands on it and reading it and you know getting into it I have been told that Kindle Nook and you know a lot of the e-readers won't be releasing their downloads until the first and I didn't know that until today and I apologize for any confusion so um, it's just a couple days away please don't be mad at me <laughs> for not knowing I'm not always in the loop about things like that um, but if you do have a Kindle please go to Kindle Graph uh, I think you can sign up you don't have to sign up for an account or anything intricate like that make sure you send me a request so that I can digitally sign your copy of Between Friends and it will get sent to you and your copy will be signed I think it's a pretty cool feature I've done it for all the glitters I've done it um, several times and it's a pretty cool feature I believe actually that the lies that bind is due to be coming um, to Kindle soon if I'm not mistaken I'll have to check that but I'm pretty sure I've heard rumors of that as well but if you do have a Kindle definitely check that out um, so that I can make sure I sign that for you that way so and I also have just wrapped up my holiday sirens um, promotion that was fun I met a lot of great authors even though my computer died right in the middle of it and I wasn't able to be as active as I wanted to be in it um, I still was able to meet a lot of great great authors made some really good friends and friends that you know I'm still friends with now even though the promotion is over the weeks are over we still communicate we still are supporting each other and that has just really made my day <laughs> so you know what I want to do right now <clears throat> is just kind of go through and just recap and give you you know their names and let you know who they are maybe you can check them out and if you find one that you like you might find a new author a new book that you might be interested in or you may think someone else may be interested in uh, the first one is an indecent death by David Anderson the next one is St. Patrick's Day by JJ Toner then there's Black Beast a clan of Macaulay novel by R.S. Guthrie Bad Luck Cadet by Susie Ivey Enemy in Blue by Derek Blass Bloodlust Portrait of a Serial Sex Killer by Gary C. Gray. Blind Veil by Michael Lord. Steps to Heaven by Wendy Carmel. My Blood Runs Blue by Stacey Eaton. Blue Blood for Life Book 2 by Stacey Eaton. Now a lot of these books are ebooks as well. So I think I might have been one of maybe only two other ones if not the only one who had a trade hardback or paperback out of the group so all of you e-readers uh, people out there with e-readers definitely you know check them out because they're always having their um, you know 99 cent specials dollar 99 specials make sure you check them out you can still go to my website the banner is still there and click on the banner and it'll take you to the website where you can see uh, their books, their covers, and it'll take you directly to their Amazon links, I believe. So you can check them out and see if it's something that you um, might be interested in. 
so I don't really have a whole whole lot more I'm looking forward to a really interesting and fun next few weeks and um, I think you guys are going to enjoy it as well I'm introducing you to some really great characters I think you're going to love and probably going to want to see again I still have people asking about the characters from the lives that bind wanting to see them again so <laughs> I'm sure you're definitely going to want to see these these three again um, so one thing I do want to say if you have any questions if you want to know anything about Trip, about Idalis, about Lincoln, send me an email. Send them an email, I should say. And I will make sure they get it and I will make sure that they answer you. Now, Lincoln can be a bit much. So you may want to watch what you ask him because he can be a pill at times. But I will make sure he does answer your emails. But Tripp and I Dallas, well, I'm sure that you'll get the answers that you're looking for. <laughs> but um, make sure you, you send them emails if you want to. And you can send them directly to me and I'll forward them on to them at author at dlsparks.com. And just put in the subject line who you want the email you know, to be sent to and I'll make sure that they get it. And I'll make sure that they respond back to you. But the next probably four to six weeks are going to be very hectic. Tour schedule should be put together really soon. And I should be hitting the road hopefully within the next month. Getting out there meeting a lot of you guys and signing a lot of books. And uh, release parties soon. I don't know how soon. But soon enough. <laughs> so I'll let you know about that as well. So again, I just want to thank you guys so much for everything and I will be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.